Now we're going to head to the largest school district in all of central New York. That includes Syracuse City Schools. And we are joined live now by their superintendent, Anthony Davis. Before we get into all of the excitement of the first day, unfortunately, your district is dealing with the tragic death of Alexia Lynch, who attended Henninger High School. How's the district handling all this? We are. Good morning, Ryan and Rachel. Um, we are su providing support uh, at our buildings for students and for staff. Um, who knew Alexia? Um, so it's just a matter of making sure that everybody have what they need to to, to get this year started. Oh. Um, it's an unfortunate beginning, but um, we will we will deal with that. We will support everyone that we possibly can, and we'll we'll still try to have a great start to the school year. Okay, all right. So, what changes or plans do you have for the school year that you think will be the most impactful? I think the biggest plan that we have is we have a, a huge attendance drive this year. We want to make sure that our families are informed that we need all our students in school. Uh, that gives us the best chance to educate them. Um, so we are starting a um, attendance campaign at the very beginning. So we're, we're asking for everyone to make sure their kids get to school. And for any reason, if they can't get to school, what are some of those circumstances that we might be able to help out with, with resources uh, throughout the city? So we're very excited about this year and, and continuing our, our progress um, forward. Safety always a topic on everyone's minds. What improvements are being made district-wide in terms of teacher and student safety? One of the things that's happening, we, we've always had um, security checks at the high schools. Uh, we And we've had them at middle school, but mostly in spots where um, randomly we would do searches and things. We're moving to middle school searches daily. So that's happening at uh, the beginning of this year. Uh, so we're, we're making sure that we're respectful of people as they come into our environment, but we also want to make sure that our buildings are safe. So that's one of the things that we've moved to this year is doing um, checks at middle schools daily. Superintendent Davis, a big talker, no matter what district you're talking about, cell phones in mm -hmm. schools. So where does the district stand with that? I, I see you smiling because I know you had <laughs> a lot of conversations, I'm sure, with staff. It's a big talker, not only just in districts, but the state's even talking yeah. about it. So where do you guys stand on cell phones in schools? Right, right now, it varies from building to building, from classroom to classroom. Um, we are looking, uh, our board is looking into um, policies and procedures that will be more uniformed across the district. Uh, but we're also trying to make sure that we inform our families and, and talk to our students about what's realistic. So we want to make sure that we're respectful about the process. So we're going to be working through this, this uh, situation together to figure out what's the best result and how we keep our students focused on school. Okay. Another big talker is the teaching shortage around the country. Is there a district plan to increase teacher retention from new teachers to veterans? And are you still in need of more teachers? We are still in need of more teachers. Uh, teaching assistants as well. Uh, we have a, a number of positions that we can still fill. Uh, very few teaching classroom positions at the moment, but we will fill those with subs for the moment until we get um, certified teachers in. Uh, but at the same time, the shortage is more about programs that we have um, locally that people can get into. They have four-year degrees. They're not very far away from being able to, to teach particular subjects. Uh, and then we have high-needed areas, um, places like special education or um, science, uh, you know, those types of math positions. Um, if people have four-year degrees, it's a great profession to get into, and we would definitely support folks joining our team. Okay. Superintendent Davis, thank you so very much for joining us. We wish you a great year ahead. We're actually going to be out there later this fall for our Friday morning lights. We're looking forward to yeah. hanging out with the kids and getting to see all the exciting things in the district. Thank you so much for the time. All right.